This is the famous caricaturist, L. Hirschfeld, conception of today's omnibus. Here is the inimitable Mr. Saroyan, uh, manipulating his puppets, the abracadabra kid. And here is your uh, MC and his chronic cigarette ash. And here is Mr. Raymond Massey, who has just got through celebrating the midnight ride of Paul Revere, the famous event of April 1775. Now, you may not see the immediate connection between that event and something that happened exactly a hundred years later in April 1875. But in that month, a gentleman called Richard Doyle Cart approached a Mr. Gilbert, an irascible soul, and Mr. Sullivan, a much more gentle one. And he said, why don't you two get together, one writes, one composes, and do operettas? Uh, Gilbert, who was phased by nothing, said, yes, it will be a parody of a court of law. Uh, Sullivan, the shivering gentle one, said he didn't think he could possibly make an hour and a half or two hours, but he could just go 30 minutes. And the only thing he could rely on was his great gift of musical pastiche, of parody, which is what he did rely on, as you can see. He was able to take German leader, Italian love song, Rossini, Verdi, Mozart, even throw in a magnificent chorus from Handel, as you should see when the jury greets the judge. So now we go to the first of Gilbert and Sullivan's Savoy operas presided over by Mr. Justice Green. At the hour of ten, it's sounding hot, with anxious fears about him, all of justice crowd surrounding, craving hope and fear. For today, this Sabrina saw the fire stress of me, that can't do this by Angelina, short they will appear. At the hour of ten, it's sounding hot, with anxious fears abounding, all of justice crowd surrounding, craving of vulgar prejudice I pray you set aside I pray you set aside which turned judicial frame of mind from pious tree of every kind this trial must be tried oh listen to the plaintiff's case observe the features of her face the broken hearted and oh, with all distress of mind, from pious free of every kind, this trial must be tried. And when amid the plaintiff shrieks, the ruffianly defendant speaks upon the other side, what he may say, you need. Mind. From pious free of every kind, this trial must be tried. From pious free of every kind, this trial must be tried. Is this the court of the exchequer? It is. Be firm, be firm, my pecker. Your evil stars in the ascendant. Who are you? I'm the defendant. Monster, bread or damages? Where the jury? Where the jury? Hear me, hear me, if you please. These are very strange proceedings. For permit me to remark on the merits of my pleading you're at present in the dark. That's a very true remark on the merits of his pleading you're at present in the dark. Ha, ha, ha. I knew my bosom welled with joy. My riches at her feet I threw. I was a lovesick boy. No term seemed too extravagant upon her to employ. I used to mop and sigh and pant just like a lovesick boy. Hey, 
But joy and sass and falls the sense and love and change will cloy. And she became a bore intense unto her love sick boy. With fitful glimmer burnt my flame, and I grew cold and coy. At last, one morning, I became another's love sick boy. Tick a tag, 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 tick a tag. At last, one morning, I became another's love. Thank you. 